Oh, my name is Taylor Hutchison. This is Footprint Farm and we are in Starksboro, Vermont. We started here in 2013. We grow 66 different vegetable crops, um, everything from cut greens to tomatoes for our CSA program and the, basically we grow everything except for storage potatoes and storage squash. We have an acre and a half in production plus two 30 by 96 high tunnels and we have a total of two and a half acres. We let an acre rest each year. And as far as sales, we do, we gross about 120,000 a year. We are 30-ish percent wholesale and 60-ish percent retail. Our new barn is 36 by 48 and the wash area is about 20 by 48. We wanted to do year-round production and we were trying to do that without a winterized building and it was too painful on our hands to be able to wash greens through the winter and we had problems getting rid of wash water, there was nowhere for it to drain. We really want to be able to employ people through the winter and we figured we can't put others through washing in a non-insulated building and we also didn't have a house on site so we decided to build a structure we figured if we were going to winterize something for a house we might as well put our wash pack in it at the same time we did a lot of cost saving measures we helped in the construction we designed it we milled a lot of the lumber on site, um, so our cost for the project was around 300000 so that's including wash pack and house. We're not quite finished with the house, so add in some trim and baseboard and doors. The, our contractor said that if he were building something like that for a business that was just hiring out the whole design build process, that it would be more of a half a million dollar project. Uh, we spent a few, probably two years planning out what we wanted to end up with. And that covered everything from wash pack flow, so we had to decide what were our main crops, what were we gonna spend the most time on washing, um, what crops were most uncomfortable to wash and how could we make that easier in the final building. Um, a big design process for us was figuring out what the interior finish of the walls would be because it's a highly insulated building so that we could live in it but that means that we were using dense pack cellulose for the insulation and spraying water all over the walls all the time. Not all the time but it was a risk and so trying to figure out what kind of breathable surfaces we could use that were also waterproof, washable, um, that was really tough. We went and visited all the wash pack facilities we could find in Vermont. Um, we talked to Ben Hartman of Clay Bottom Farm and uh, we talked to UVM. Downstairs it's about two-thirds wash pack and then there's a small space for egg washing. There's an employee restroom and an employee break area and cubby area. There's also a space where there's a shop, or there will be a shop in the future that's mostly storage right now. And in the flow, there's an entrance side where dirty produce comes in, and on the far end of the building is where clean produce exits. There's a separate entrance for egg washing. If somebody's coming in with eggs, they're not coming in through the produce entrance, and the walk-in refrigerator is at the exit end of the building. It's huge for produce safety. We are now able to keep track, you know, really see if there are any rodents coming in. We are able to separate clean bins and dirty bins. We have wind and weather proof area to store bins now. Um, we can control water. We have even just our 
post-harvest handling is so much, it's vastly improved from what we had before. So we're able to get stuff right in out of the field into a cool climate controlled building through the wash pack. It's so fast now that I feel like there's not as there's not even the opportunity for things to get damaged or um, dirty. We have a three bay system that are those big black plastic water troughs that we use for triple washing our greens. We have a, a homemade salad spinner out of a washing machine. And for spraying off root crops, we just have these, they're plastic coated wire shelves that you would use in a closet that we set up on modular sawhorses, plastic sawhorses. And we have a farm hack root washer for some of the storage crops.